Yo, what is up guys, DecaCrafter here, and today I'm showing you how to make a Pixelmon server. So right now it's on Pixelmon 8.1.2, but it doesn't really matter what version it's on, this tutorial will always work. We're going to want to hit download on Pixelmon, the links are all going to be in the description, and guys, if you need help during this tutorial, join my Discord, links in description as well, and you can DM me, I'll literally respond. I've res Even if you comment below, I'll respond. I respond to every comment, every DM. So for that, if you'd help me out and smash the like button, I'd really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, most of the people actually that watch this video are not. It's something like 99% aren't. <laughs> like, not even kidding. Um, so after this, you know, it's going to pop up an ad. Just hit skip when it shows and it'll start the Pixelmon download. While well, that's downloading, next what you want to do is go to the Forge website. So to get Minecraft Forge... Just go to the website, go to 1.12.2, that's the version of Minecraft that Pixelmon is made for. And we're just going to click install here. And then same thing, it's going to be this type of a link. You're just going to hit skip when it pops up. And then it will start the download. Once the downloads are done, hit show in folder. I already had it downloaded, so I'm actually just going to delete that one. Next, what you want to do is run the forge installer now if you don't have minecraft on your or if you don't have pixelmon set up on your client you actually want to do this as well just hit select client or install client um, and hit ok but for the server we're going to do install server and then select that go to desktop right click and hit new folder i'm going to title it pixelmon so that we know it's our Pixelmon server, or you can title it Pixelmon server, it really doesn't matter what you call it. Um, open that up, hit open here, and then hit OK. And it'll do the same thing that it was doing here, except instead of on your Minecraft client, it's going to be into the Pixelmon server folder. I guess this is actually a tutorial for both installing Pixelmon and making a server. Also, you will need to port forward in order for your friends to join. So go down in the description and watch my port forwarding tutorial. All right, it's successfully installed on the client. Now we're just waiting for this. For the client one, since that's installed, we're actually gonna open up the Minecraft launcher. Now I'm installed in here and you'll see the Forge version that I had installed. So we're actually gonna go to installations, Forge. All right, we're actually gonna hit quit and exit out. Now we're gonna open it up again. Go to the installations, forge, file. Now there will be a mods folder here. What you want to do is go back to our Pixelmon download. You see it here, the universal. It can be used for both server and client, so we're just going to copy it. You can right click and copy or do control C and then paste it into this mods folder and just close that. All right, so now you've got Pixelmon installed on your Minecraft game. Next, what you want to do is take that same Pixelmon and copy it again, or just drag it over, it doesn't really matter. Open up this. Now, we want to actually rename this here, the Forge whatever. We're just going to double, slow double click, I guess, or you could just right click, rename. I'm going to title it server. You should also name it server because I'm going to have you copy and paste something from the description real quick. No, we're going to create a text document and we're going to call this run. So we're going to open this up actually. All right, so I'm just going to copy it over to our new one. But essentially you want to copy this from the description or type it in yourself. It is important to note how much RAM your computer has. If you don't know how much, right click this icon down here and go to system. Once you're in system, you'll see how much RAM you have right here under installed RAM. It's important to know how much RAM you have because if you only have like 8 gigs of RAM, you probably don't want to assign 4 to your server and 4 to your game because then you run out of RAM and your PC will start to close programs on its own. Um, probably just Pixelmon, but yeah, it'll crash. So I would recommend 3 gigs if you have like 8 gigs in your PC, do 3 and 3. If you have 6 gigs in your PC, try and do 2 and 2 if it's too laggy. I would recommend having someone else host, or if you need a server host, actually, link in the description to the one that I use. They're pretty cheap. They're called Shockbyte. And again, if you need any help at all, just reach out to me, join the Discord, and I'll help you out. So now that you know how much RAM you want to be using for your server, this is the starting amount, 3 gigs. That's what it represents. This is the maximum amount it's allowed to use, 4 gigs. So if you want, you could just do like 2 gigs starting, but allow it to go up to 3 if it needs it. Now we're going to go File. We're actually going to hit Save As. Entitle it run 
run.bat, run.bat, and hit save. Now, the text document you can actually delete. You don't need that anymore. You just need this little document here. If you edit, you see that it's looking for a server.jar. That's this right here, that, the one that we renamed. So we're just going to run this. Then it's going to say to accept the EULA. See, so like you need to agree to the EULA in order to run a server. All right, so open up this file here, change this to true, save that and close. And now we're on the server again. Right now it's preparing the spawn area and getting it ready. All right, now we can go ahead and actually just hit stop. Remember, for your friends to join, you need a port forward. Port forwarding tutorial it will be in the description. Okay, I recommend you delete the world only because we loaded the world without Pixelmon first being in there. And if you also get other mods like Biomes of Plenty, you're going to want to delete the world file as well. It'll automatically recreate a new one, so you don't need to worry about it. Now open up mods, and we're going to go back to oh, this Pixelmon, show in folder. We're going to copy it. You don't have to copy it, you could just drag it over, like I said, but we're going to put it in the mods folder. All right, now go back out, run, close out all this, hit play. Remember, we just installed Pixelmon on our client as well. When you connect to your own server, you're going to just type in localhost for the IP spot. I'm going to hide the server as it's going to show my IP once I log in, so there's no point in you guys seeing that. Multiplayer. We're going to hit add server. We're going to type in localhost here. Entitle it whatever you want. This is your server. All right, now we are going to scroll down. You can see my server that I added here, the local host. Join. And now we are in a Minecraft server. To throw out your Pokemon, press R. Oh, did I get a Pygmy one? I don't know. It's adorable though. But yeah, here's your own Pixelmon server. Now you're probably wondering, well, I'm not admin, so how do I make myself admin? All right, well, that's actually really easy. You just want to go to, you're going to type OP into here. This is your server console. And then the name of the Minecraft character. Whoops, my name is not Decacraft. It's Decacrafter. We're going to D up Decacraft in case someone with the name Decacraft decides to get on my server. <laughs> but now I'm opt in game. You can see it says opt Decacrafter down there. I can just type slash game mode creative. And now I'm in creative mode. You can pretty much do all the admin stuff. Anyway, enjoy your server, guys! I know I had a lot of fun making servers, especially with uh, my friends a long time ago. I no longer really play Minecraft too much, but I'd like to share this experience with you guys, and that's why I also answer all of your questions. And I've even popped into some of your guys' servers here and there. In fact, a few of you have become pretty close friends of mine now, so I do really appreciate you guys. And if you could please help me out and just smash that like button and the subscribe button, and uh, you know maybe check out my other tutorials, see if they can help you out as well with anything else you might want to do. If you need a Minecraft server again, shock my links in the description. If you need help, join the Discord. Adios.